What's up everyone? It's your girl Danielle from the other half of Let's Get Greedy, the part of the two greedy girls. Listen, today, Big BK, you know what they had the nerve to do? They had the nerve to come out with a burger version of the burrito. It's called the Whopperito. I said it, Whopperito. Now, you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Is it going to be good? Or is it going to be all right? Is it going to be something weird? But guess what, guys? I have it. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion about it. I don't play no games. I'm going to let you know how many greedy guts I'm going to get this bad boy. Now, Nikki, FYI, Nikki gave me permission to go review this bad boy because she is very busy today. So you can inbox her, do whatever you want to do, but she already knows that I'm doing this review today because it just was dropped today. All right? So look at it. Look at it. Came out kind of flat. But you know who they're trying to compete with? They're trying to compete with, you know what, Chipotle. Look, here it is. It smells. It's so weird, it smells like a burrito. <laughs> I thought it was gonna smell like a Whopper. But it's, you know, like a Whopper got that onion, burger, flame oil, burger smell, but it smells like, it smells like a burrito. All right, I'm gonna try this bad boy. Wish me luck. I'm not gonna take another bite because I didn't get no burger. You see that one? That was lettuce. So that's strike one already. You need more filling inside of that. I'm gonna take a big old bite. The same greedy guts. This is my honest opinion. Honest opinion. Burger King. I prefer the actual Whopper. I'd rather go to use my money and pay for the actual Whopper. Number one, they don't give you a lot of filling. It's supposed to come with a queso cheese. You see? It's supposed to have queso cheese, burger, lettuce, tomato, onion. And all it tastes is mad lettuce. For some reason, all I'm tasting is a lot of lettuce and a little bit of a little bit of protein, a little bit of burger. I think if to be to be honest, I think if they would have packed this thing with mad ingredients, it might have been a hit. But for me, out of the greedy guts, I give it a I give it a six. And the only reason why they would have pumped it with mad protein. Some cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion. I might have gave it a chance. So I'm gonna give you another chance for your king. I know you keep on coming up with these unique ideas, keep on bringing them, but I know for a fact you try to compete with Chipotle. And listen, listen, I saw on the news that y'all was charging a good three dollars and change. Spent six six fifty on this, six fifty two. What's up with that? Is it because I work on Wall Street? Is it because I work by the lower rotation or you guys are charging the New York City prices? Let me know, BK. Because I could have swore it's going to be $3 and change. Maybe everywhere else in America, but $6.52. I don't know if this is worth $6.52. Because look, you don't even, look, I'm holding it up right now for you guys to see. You don't see a lot of protein at all. You see like a corner. You see like a corner of the protein. Everything else is going to have less. Okay? My honest review, I gotta keep it real. Sorry. I told you like our review was gonna be keeping it real. Okay? Girl, I'm Danielle Perry. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Reedy episode of Let's Get Greedy. Like, subscribe to your family and friends. We come in with videos all the time. Girl, push, them push them out. Push them out. Don't leave. Love you guys. Around me, greedy I got, I got girl some water. for real. That's my water. homie DC. Come on, water. Oh, greedy girl for real. Love you guys. Greedy girl for real. Girl for real. I prefer the greedy girl for real. <laughs> Don't leave your food around me, greedy girl for real. Ask my homie DC. <laughs>